What's going on everyone? We got some breaking news. LeBron James officially signed the 97 million two year extension with the Los Angeles Lakers. So his contract's gonna run through the 2024, 2025 season, uh, but he does have a player option for that season. Um, now, I am actually a little surprised. I didn't think LeBron would sign an extension. I thought he would do the one plus ones uh, from here on out, which this extension is. He did the one plus one, you know, where he has the extension and then he does the player option the following year but i thought he would wait until after this season so that way they could keep the cap flexibility and then if he needed to do whatever he could um you know i'm not saying that he was absolutely going to take like a pay cut or anything like that but i figured lebron's going to want to give the lakers the flexibility because he wants to put a team around him so this just kind of sparks my interest as a whole because LeBron's a smart guy, and they had their conversation, right? Him, Rob Palinka, his agent, Darvin Ham, they all had a discussion, and they talked about like what the what the plan is, what's the direction, what you know, what are we doing here with the Lakers, you know? Because LeBron's looking at it as like I'm only getting older. I'm in my 20th season, you know. I'm 38. I, I need at some point we gotta we gotta do something. We gotta turn this ship around here, right? And so they had that conversation. And now we see that he signed the extension. I don't think LeBron was going to sign the extension unless he knew something was going to happen. Now, I'm not saying that this means the Kyrie deal or anything like that is, is coming and that, like, you know, expect that in the next hour or two. No, nothing like that. But I do think it's interesting because, look, LeBron could have gotten just as much money if he waited till the end of the offseason. So it wasn't about the money to sign that extension. Like, this was just to lock him in for the next two years, uh, or, you know, the one plus one, which he still did. But, like, this wasn't like, oh, he if he doesn't sign the extension, he loses money at the end of the season. No. So I think that there's something there's something that they, that they know that we don't know yet. Again, not saying it's the Kyrie deal, not saying it's uh, it's any of the other like major deals. It could just be a couple small deals or something. But I think that LeBron knows something. You know, maybe it's for the next season, right? Maybe he knows like, hey, look, keep the flexibility. We'll write it out this year. Maybe Kyrie's coming next year. I just think, you know, based on what they talked about, the discussion that LeBron had and it with the team and Rob and everything, and they all said, you know, we have moves coming, you know, this is the this is they mapped it out for LeBron. This is what we're gonna do. The idea is to put you in a position to be a contender year in and year out and to win more championships. And LeBron, like they were on the same page. Darvin Ham is like, hey, we're going to, I'm going to hold everybody accountable. Anybody that doesn't buy in, that's you're being held accountable. I don't care if it's you. I don't care if it's, you know, the, the 15th man. Everyone is being held accountable. And LeBron loved that. LeBron said, you know, hey, that's right. That's what we need. We need accountability. We need somebody that can call players out on their stuff. And Darvin Ham said, oh, I will be that guy. So they had a very good conversation. That's what the report was. I mean, even Rich Paul came out and said, yeah, it was a very, it was a really good conversation that was really in a positive direction that, you know, we all left that, that meeting on, on a common ground, which is great. But again, why does LeBron sign the extension without seeing the Lakers make those moves? Like you would, like LeBron's, his whole career, ever since he first left, right, he's always made sure to hold teams accountable. And that's why he always does the one plus ones. I thought he would do the one plus ones for that reason, but also for the fact that, like, what's going to happen this offseason? If they don't trade for Kyrie, LeBron, based on reports and stuff, he really wants Kyrie Irving. So if he really wants Kyrie Irving, then why not keep that flexibility so you could go and make sure you guys have the cap and stuff? Although they would have the money to sign Kyrie, if even with LeBron's max. But still, it's just it's it's just interesting. I, I didn't expect him to do the the extension at least yet. I mean, I figured at some point he would. I mean, he's not going to turn down the two years. 97 million. I didn't think he was going anywhere. I've said that if you go look at all my videos, like talking about the situation, I've said in every single one of them, LeBron's not leaving the Lakers anytime soon. They got LeBron for at least the next three plus years, which this appears to be that. Um, you know, and I said at the very least, you know, they might have him a little longer than that. It just the only way he leaves is to go play with his son Bronny, which isn't until that 2024, 2025 season. So He's still got time there, 
And then, uh, and then does he go play immediately or does he give it a couple years for Bronny to kind of come into his own? Uh, depend on, and, and it also depends on where LeBron's at, where the Lakers are at at that time. All of that stuff, I think, will play a factor. But yeah, I, I knew the Lakers weren't going to lose LeBron. Because I've talked about, where is he going to go? All the teams that can sign him outright, he's not going to want to play for. And which team in the league is going to trade for, at that point, a 38, 39-year-old LeBron James on his 21 season? Uh, who's giving up young assets to do that? Nobody's doing that. Nobody. But, you know, I, I just think that, uh, I, just, I just think this is a little surprising. I didn't expect him to sign the extension, at least this soon. I thought he would wait at least, you know, because he has until like June of next year or something like that to sign the extension. Like, it's not like the extension, it's not like there's a deadline uh, anytime soon. He could have played pretty much the entire season and then signed the extension. So there is no rush, no desire. He did this for a reason. Not saying it's for Kyrie. I'm not saying it's for any anything too crazy. But there was a reason he signed this now. Because why didn't he sign this? Because they had the meeting like two weeks ago. So like why didn't he sign two weeks ago after the meeting? Something is brewing. Now, I don't know what that is. I'm not going to try to sit here and speculate what that is. But something is clearly brewing. Uh, LeBron is a smart guy. He knows how the league works. He knows how everything works. He, he signed this extension because he got something that he liked. Or he, they are going to do something that he's all for. That he said, okay, let's do this. Let's sign the extension. And to show like that commitment maybe to that other thing. So now, if it is the Kyrie trade, then maybe he wants to lock himself in, show his commitment. So, you know, Kyrie sees like, okay, LeBron's there. Let's do this. And then maybe they trade for him, sign him on an extension, whatever. Again, not saying that that's going to happen. But I don't know. Me personally, I think that this is LeBron. LeBron's had time to sign the extension. And he didn't need to rush this extension. Now, maybe he wants to. The other alternative is that he wants to show his commitment to the team going into this season. But he could have just said that to the players. Like, I ain't going nowhere. Don't worry about it. I'm waiting on the extension because, you know, it's the business side of it. You know, I want this team to improve, and it's in the best interest of the team for me not to sign that extension. Like, I just think that, that he easily could have done that. So I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a, here, let me show my team I'm committed thing, because I don't think anyone's ever questioned LeBron's commitment to, to, to the game of basketball. I don't think that that's a, a question at all. But I, I just, I don't know. The, the, it's just an interesting time in which he just randomly decided to sign that extension. Um, I just think that, that this is the first domino to fall for the Lakers for something. Again, I'm not saying it's the Kyrie trade. Could be, it could be the Indiana trade. It could be, you know, maybe they got a jazz deal in line. You know, it could just it could just be something to where like LeBron's like, okay, cool. Like I, I like that. Let's 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 lock this up. Let's let's get this done. Let's get this over with. Because LeBron had no rush to sign this, and it wouldn't have made any difference. Um, but anyway, uh, that's the news. Those are my thoughts and opinions, and as always, I pass a question on you. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. What do you think about LeBron James signing this two-year $97 million extension? Again, it is a sort of one plus one. Uh, you know, the second year is a player option, so he could easily just opt out, and it's the same It's the same thing. Uh, you know, and I, like I said, I didn't think he would, I didn't think he would not take the max. I, you know, I, I have said that, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if he, if he took a pay cut, because he's done it in the past to improve the team, but it wasn't like, oh, he's not going to sign the extension because of a pay cut, but it was more of like, he's not going to sign the extension because there's no reason to, right? Why wouldn't he want to keep the flexibility? Why wouldn't he want to kind of keep the, the Lakers on their toes and in a position where they got to kind of keep doing doing what they're doing? You know, it's just, it's interesting. Like I said, nonetheless, it's, it's an interesting uh, situation. However you feel about it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And do you think that this is like a sign that something else is coming, that something's right around the corner? Because I just don't think LeBron would sign the extension unless he knew, like, okay, we're in a position. Because there's no way LeBron's looking at this roster right now and going, yeah, we're a championship team. We're a contender right now. You know, I just don't see that. We don't see that. I don't think any of us are looking at the Lakers right now and going, oh, that's a bona fide contender right there. That team, that team is a monster. No. And so there's no way LeBron's looking at that going, yeah, this team's a contender. I just don't see that. 
So I would imagine he would want to kind of put the Lakers in a position where it's like, go get a deal done. Go get me Kyrie. Go get me Miles Turner and Buddy Hill. Go get me something that I can look at and go, yes, here it is. We got this is the team we've been waiting on. You know, this is the team that I've been wanting. Like, this is the team that I feel like we can win with. You know, um, I don't know. It's just it's just something that I, I find interesting. But do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? Again, down in the comment section below. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.